Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we will be using the delete request to delete some Trello cards. So in the last few videos, we learned how to create a new card using the post request, how to fetch a card using the get request, and how to update the cast using the put request. In this video, we will wrap it all up by deleting the card using the delete request. So this sums up pretty much majority of the API requests you will make when doing API testing. You will most likely replace the resource from card to maybe some user, or post or comments, depending on whatever your application is. But at the end of the day, the logic remains the same. So let's head over to Trello application and take a look at how we can delete a Trello card. So I'm gonna go to Chrome. And this is our application that we have been working with, which is a Trello sprint board. So here, I'm just gonna right click, do inspect, and go to network tab, scroll down. So what we're gonna do is add a new card and then get the ID of that card and then try to delete it using the postman. Let's do that. So I'm going to add a new card. I will name this one delete me. And I will do add card. The moment I do that, you notice there's a new post request that happened for this cards, which basically created a new card. If I open this up and scroll all the way down, you will notice that we have our ID board for the entire board. We have the ID list. And at the same time, we sent in this delete, um, delete me name. And then we have our token. If I go to the response, I can go here and preview. I can see the ID being generated. So this is the ID that that was created for that particular card. So which is good. I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to head over to the documentation to see how we can delete a card. So I'm here in the card section to delete a card. Simply we have to do delete slash one cards ID. So we have our ID. So now let's go to postman and then delete that. Before we do that, just something to keep in mind. We need to have ID as required and key and token. So this is not different than any of the other ones that we have been doing to update or get a card. So I'm going to go to Postman now. Now in Postman, if you remember, we created this Trello collection. In the collection, we have our board where we were getting the sum of the board details. And then we have our card where we were working with post request, get request and put request. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure to check them out to see how we created this collection as well as how was we added this request in this collection. So I'm going to add a new request here. I can just do add request and here I will name this one delete slash one cards and then we'll do ID and this would simply be delete a card let me fix this okay and then we will see keep it in our cards folder and I'll do save to cards so we have this here if you notice it says get because we have to go in here and then just change this to delete and if I save this now so now in a card, we have our post, get, put, and delete. So we have the entire CRUD flow happening over here with our cards. So to delete, what I'm going to do is paste the ID that we copied from there and then go to get, copy everything, paste it here, and then just change the ID with the ID that we were fetching the card before. I'll change it with this one. Let me just save this. Now going back to get, if you remember, we were getting the card by doing slash one cards slash ID. So this was basically giving us the card and we have our API key as well as API token. So if I hit send, I was able to get a card or uh, basically the details for that particular card. There you go. So we have the details of our card here and we can see that we are getting the details. Same thing we're going to do. We're going to instead of getting the card, we're going to delete the card that we just created. So let's first try out if this card is actually working by doing a get on that. So I will change this here. So what I just did is replace the delete me card ID that we copied here. And then I pasted it here to see if it will show up. Okay, so that is showing up. And if you notice here, the name is delete me. So this is the one that we just created. So that's perfect. So our card is created. We have the right ID. Now let's try to delete this card. Now deleting is simple. We are not passing in any body details here. Everything else, just like whatever we do with our get request, we are doing pretty much the exact same thing with our delete. The only different is we are changing the uh, HTTP method from get to delete. That's it. Now, if I hit send request here, okay, there you go. In the response, this time it's way smaller. We just got the limits and this uh, empty curly bracket over here. So while this doesn't really say if our card is actually deleted, but we did got our status 200 okay. So our assumption is that, yeah, this did got deleted. Now to verify if it did actually got deleted, what I can do is try to hit send request again. Now if you remember for our get request, we can keep hitting send multiple times and we were able to get the data back because the data exists in the server, right? Or in the database. But in this sense, once we have deleted it from the database, we won't be able to fetch it back. Now if I hit send, 
Ideally, we should see a 404 here. Let's see what happens. There you go. It is as we expected. It says 404 not found. And over here, you can see the requested resource was not found. That means we have already deleted this and that resource does not exist anymore. Now, the same behavior should happen if we even go to the get request and try to fetch this card. Let's go here. If you remember, we were actually fetching this card. Now, what I will do is just hit send request again. And there you go. This card is not here. We are getting 404 card not found. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can delete an existing card. And once it's deleted, you would, can try to fetch it to see if the data is deleted, or you can try to make a delete request again to make sure that we get a 404 back instead of getting a 200 request back. So what we can also do is go to our Trello application to see if this is actually deleted from there also. If I go back here, scroll down. And if you remember, we had the delete me card here. Now it's not existing over there anymore. And basically it's been deleted from our Trello card board. And we can kind of do the same thing for an existing card too. We don't have to create a new one. So for example, if I change the ID for this one, I would say instead of this, this would now be deleted. Well, basically I'm just changing it so that I can get the ID for this card. And if I save this, scroll up, and this is the card that we changed. If I go to headers, scroll all the way down. And remember this time it's a put request because we just made a change to that particular card that already existed. So to change something, we make a put request. And if I, um, sorry, scroll back up, copy this card ID, and then I'm going to head back over to Postman to delete this one also. First, as usual, we're going to fetch this. I will hit send. And there you go. Once I fetched it, if I go to the name, it says test three deleted. And now I can quickly go over to delete, paste this here and hit send. And there you go. This one is deleted too. If I quickly go back here to see if that card is still there. Nope, it's not. It's actually deleted. And we can obviously do the same thing by trying to fetch this card or I can hit this send button again for the delete. We get 404. And when I do the same thing for that, I get 404 here too for the get request also. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can delete an existing resource. So it can work either way. Either you can create a new card and then you can try to delete it or you can work with an existing card and then you can delete that too. So it doesn't matter which flow you go with as long as you have remembered that once you delete it, you try to hit that request again, you're going to get 404 back. That's the key thing here to remember. So in our future videos, one thing we have to make sure when we will be running a collection is once we will be deleting a card, we have to make sure that the card actually exists. So we can do that by just getting the card. And once that is existing, then we can go ahead and safely delete that card. Okay, so in the next video, we'll begin to get into a little bit more technical and see how we can do scripting using Postman. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.